Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Kind of have a unique one that came from a, an Academy member request today. Um, we're going to learn how to play a guitar arrangement of True Love Waits by Radiohead. So anybody that's familiar with this track knows that that main part that I was just playing is actually originally done on piano, but it works really well on guitar uh, as well. Now you'll see them play it live and he really doesn't play it like this live, he just kind of does full strumming chords and stuff but it actually has that really nice, intimate quality about it. That you can get from the piano, you can get it from the guitar as well. So I'm, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm not doing like the version that he plays when he plays it live. I'm actually trying to imitate what the piano is doing here. All right, so let's start with this. We're in standard tuning, and we have this intro, which uh, just one finger. Can't get any wrong with that. That's going to be... Given us a uh, really kind of playing a C major seventh chord, so we have this third fret on the um, A string, then the open G string, then back to that third fret on the A, and then the open B. So you gotta kind of jump around a little bit, but. From there, we're going to play the same four notes, but with a little bit different timing. So kind of really that last note, obviously, we're kind of like pulling back and holding off on that one a little bit. So we have this. Repeat. So then the next chord change you'll hear is this chord right here. It's the same picking pattern. So this one's a little bit more difficult. It's not a bar chord, but uh, if I wanted to get all the notes, instead of playing it down here, to get all the notes in that piano pattern, you got to play it like this. So that's the fifth fret on the low E, um, and the fifth fret on the D, and the fifth fret on the G. So that's pretty easy, but you gotta reach, got to reach back and get this third fret there on the A as well. Now, between those four strings, so it's the same picking pattern where we pick the sixth string, then the D string, then the fifth, uh, so the low E string, D string, A string, G string with those, uh, that rhythm that we were doing earlier. And then take the note on the, to get to the next chord, you just take the note on the low E and move it down one fret. It's a really nice change. And then the whole verse section uh, is really just, just those repeated. I will say that you'll hear a little variation, like you probably just saw me do it. We're going from this chord to this chord. Um, I sometimes this last note before switching to that chord is actually the top note in that next chord. So sometimes you'll basically go to that chord one note early, and then, or sometimes you can just do the. And then switch. They do it both ways, so it really doesn't really matter since we're just kind of doing an arrangement anyway. But if you want to get technical with it, and then um, when it goes to the. When it gets to that, that I'm considering no, it's the chorus, and uh, so we just have this. to the bird. 
verse. So what I'm doing here, I'm starting it with it's the same as this. But basically I'm playing the, the note here with my ring finger so I can play a full C major in a second. And you don't have to do that kind of delayed timing. We can just kind of pick straight through the notes with a and the chorus. So there's a little maneuver in there though, so I'm gonna do that picking pattern twice. So right there, it's kind of cool to, to add it with on that D string. So I'm basically doing that pegging pattern, the first pegging pattern, three times. And then from there, I'm gonna put the first finger down on the, the uh, first fret of the B string, and then I'm gonna add that third fret there on the D. And I'm gonna pick. So I'm just playing, in, playing the third fret of the D, open G, then the first fret of the B, and then resolve that one again. And pick across the same strings. So, so, so. So the picking pattern here is not very consistent. So you can kind of just do whatever you want. Just between the, I'm now playing the third fret of the A, open G, and the first fret of the B. And then from there we have. So what's going to happen there is just move down to the second fret of the A, and then you're going to pick the open G and the B, and kind of just do the same rhythm we did before. And then open A, open G, open B. No fingers. So, so he plays that pattern there, and then you'll hear he'll kind of add that first fret on the B again. This is kind of just trying to get the piano part down, so we have this. So I put that down again. So from there, then I'm going to go to this, I'm going to end that chorus with the G. So the third fret on the low E, and then open G. Same, same two notes up top. And then we're back. All right, so we basically could go through the chorus again when we get to it. So after the second chorus there, we have it when it goes down to that G, we have this little thing that happens. And then we're back to the, uh, the verse again. So that is basically so when we get to that G that we ended the first chorus with. We all we gotta do is move this up to the fourth fret. So put use your pinky there on the low E string. Other notes stay the same. So open G in the first fret on the B. And then what you gotta do, you gotta jump a little quick. You're gonna replace that first fret on the B string with your middle finger, and then reach over and grab the first fret with your index here. So we have the and all the other notes are the same, so we have this. And then same, same course. So we just kind of go through the same thing. There was a little variation when you hear like kind of, what is it, like in the second verse, he'll do this when he's doing this. He'll add 
add the uh, the sus sus uh, two there. Or the add nine, whatever you want to call. So it just does that real quick, but it sounds really nice. I wanted to talk about it. And he goes back to the thing. So that's just adding the third fret real quick in the B as the note on the B string and then go back to the open B. All right, and then at the end we have that same thing. That's saying off that G chord, the very end of the track. Just a C major seven chord sounds great. So that's just three on the A, two on the D, the open G and the open B. So hopefully if you know this track, I know it's not one of the most popular Radiohead songs, but it's beautiful and it's got a great little piano. There's a lot of extra stuff they're adding, little piano figures and stuff, but the the, the foundation piano is really cool, really haunting, uh, but I also think it kind of works out pretty well on the guitar, pretty convincing um, that if you can get that rhythm down and then be able to sing over it, which is kind of tricky, um, it can sound really, really cool, especially get a little bit of reverb on it, sound really nice. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.